sweet pea, apple of my eye. Don't know when and I don't know why. You're the only reason I keep on coming home. Sweet pea, what's all this about? I don't get your way, all you do is fuss and pout. You're the only reason I keep on coming home. I'm like the rock of Gibraltar, I always seem to falter, and the words just get in the way. Oh, I know I'm gonna crumble, I'm trying to stay humble, but I never think before I say, Sweet pea, keeper of my soul. I know sometimes I'm out of control You're the only reason I keep on coming You're the only reason I keep on coming You're the only reason I keep on coming home Okay, so I was asked to do a tutorial for this song. Uh, it's Amos Lee's Sweet P. Um, I'm playing this on a standard tuned ukulele. Uh, there's five, one, two, three, four, five chords that are used during the song. Uh, and they are C, which is 0003. Should sound something like that. E7, which is 1202. Two, which sounds something like that. A minor, which is two, zero, zero, zero. D, which is two, 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 zero. I play that by semi-barring the second fret, uh, leaving the A string just to ring untouched. Uh, some people play it with uh, two fingers like this. Either way, whatever's more comfortable for you. Uh, and the last chord is a C7. And, oh, and an F, which is uh, one, zero, two, zero, and the C7 is zero, 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 one. So I guess it's six chords. My apologies. So the intro is uh, starts with a C for four beats, then an E7 for four beats, A minor four beats, D for four beats, and then it switches to a two beat. Uh, uh, pattern, which goes C, whoop, C, A minor, F, G, C, A minor, F, G. So it sounds something like this. No, it doesn't. It sounds like this. on that C, which is the first note of the first verse. Now the verses are the same pattern as that intro. It goes, sweet P, E7, up of my eye, A minor, D, C, A minor, F, G, C, and then I drop back to G between the verses, and then that second verse is the same thing. A minor, D, C, A minor, F, G, C. So that that verse ends, and then we have the bridge. So I drop from C to C7 to introduce the tonality for the E7. So you're playing, uh, keep on coming home. I'm like the rock of Gibraltar. You go straight into the E7. So C7, E7, rock of Gibraltar. I always seem to falter and A minor. Just get in the way. Oh, D gonna crumble. Trying to stay humble, but I G, 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 G. Sweet P, what's it? And then that last verse is the same thing. Uh, Amos actually plays um, uh, an instrumental 
uh, verse there. It's the same pattern, uh, but because I don't have drums for counterpoint, I don't typically play it when I'm soloing. So um, then it ends, um, and you repeat the last line a few times. You're the only reason I keep on coming C, A minor, F, G, C, A minor, F, G, C, and then you drop down to G, and then back to C. Now, all of this, of course, is played in a lower register. Uh, if you want to play it in the same key, you'd put a capo on the fourth fret, like this, and do those same chord shapes just below the capo. Um, and then you'll be in the same uh, register. So it would sound something more like... Uh, it's hard to do. I don't actually have a capo. So uh, if you have a capo or a pencil and rubber band, uh, you can probably uh, figure it out on your own how to do that. Uh, or stop by a music shop and pick one up if you want to play it in the higher register. But it's easier to sing and easier to play uh, in, the, in the lower key. So hopefully that helped. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, this is my first tutorial, so hopefully it went well. Thanks.